Hello, everyone. Welcome to the third episode of Plus Central Survivor Cinema Showdown. Well, today I am just a little concerned that our two teams have not been getting along very well, and it's really affecting their productivity on the job as well, so I've been noticing. So today's challenge is going to be different than any other challenge on our Plus Central Survivor Cinema Showdown season. Because I am testing your abilities to work on the, as a team, and that ability may also affect your job, which I hope it doesn't affect it after today, I have a set of three panelists. Please welcome Andy the Enderman, Blue Toad, and Whammy of Minecraft to assess your abilities to work together as a team in a series of real-life employee situations that have happened at our cinema recently. These three lovely panelists will be judging you based on your ability to work as a team, your ability to not lose control in a customer situation, and how well you have handled the situation. They've been giving you a score based out of, one, of an easy score of 1 through 10. 1 being the worst, and 10 being the best, and 5 being eh, in the middle, I'd say. It's probably better to get something a little bit above 5 if, if you, for, our, for you guys' sake, the challenge. Whoever's team gets the most points from their judging, will be safe from elimination tonight. The second, this team that loses, unfortunately, will be sent home, will have to send home a player again. We haven't gotten to the point where we send home two players contestants, so there's no need to worry about sending home too many people today. All right, I will give you guys some time to talk amongst yourselves and strategize what you came up with, and maybe even try to think about what your situations you might be encountering. I wish you guys good luck, and I will be sitting next to our panelists the entire time. Okay, guys. We need to work better as a team today, so no dilly-dallying, okay? We already lost Raya, but Raya was also trying to control the team, so we don't have to worry about that now. All we have to do is worry about friendly service, okay? That's the key. That's what keeps, coming, that's what keeps us working as a team in this game, and that's what's going to keep customers from coming back. Friendly service is all what I'm about, Darwin. Now, you have nothing to worry about, little furry old grover. Nothing to worry about. <sighs> sometimes even the nicest people can be get really hot-headed sometimes, so I'd be a little careful with that, Grover. If he brings up that situation where you go off on the wall, Chef Pee we are is so screwed. But I just hope that if he, well, if he brings up that situation, we're going to have to work on your temper there, Chef Pee Pee. And we'll have to work on all, we have to work on all of our tempers because we all tend to lose it, lose control. Even the quiet, quiet one they hear. Now, due to this being a shorter plus central survivor instead of a showdown video, and because we're on a tight budget schedule and all that other stuff, with the scenario scenes being shown with each of the team members and hosted and judged by our lovely special guest will be shown with specific scenes. But don't worry, guys. The full scenes will be available during the Plus Central Survivor reunion show that is yet to be determined when that's coming. But if you guys like these certain scenario scenes, please feel free to let us know in the comments if you want to see them earlier than our planned Plus Central Survivor reunion show. Until then, please enjoy these lovely scenes and discover what happens when you sometimes lose your control in front of customers. You know, I can't believe movie prices are twelve dollars in matinee. They used to be like five dollars in back in my day. Do you believe that, Hank? No, dear, I don't believe that at all. I don't even understand why the prices go up so high. You guys even understand why your prices go up so high? I think I speak for everyone here, there, guys. That we the prices go up because people it's in demand. You know, and that we we can't do anything about it. It's our corporate. Corporate's responsibility to do that. If you have any questions about prices, please contact our manager or our director or corporate. Thank you. I think that's well said. I I agree. We, we try to do our best with our prices. We try to get our customers to come in. I can't believe ticket prices are so gosh darn expensive. How do you guys deal with that? Well, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for the uh, the ticket prices being so expensive, ma'am. If you have any questions, please contact Mr. Wilbur, our manager. 
or the people in charge. Oh, Marvin, you I didn't know you worked here. Oh, this is getting a little uncomfortable now. Now, Marvin, don't you give me a discount for free? Um, no, no ma'am, I'm sorry. You, we just talked to our, our HR for that, please. Movie prices are terrible, and now his service is just bad. Well, I was something. Uh, I didn't expect her to do a little bit of temptation there. I'm sorry, Marvin, uh, we didn't expect her to do that. We won't deduct points for that. Excuse me, we called about having reserved seats. Unfortunately, we can't reserve your seats for the Garfield movie because it's sold out. What? What do you mean the movie's sold out? We just bought tickets yesterday. I'm sorry, but the tickets just sold out. The movie sold out, and those tickets for that showtime, we didn't get enough people for that showtime. So, unfortunately, is there another showtime you'd want to go see it? Well, I mean, today was the only day I had off to go see it, but... Okay, um, how about we reserve you for, um, this weekend? Have you guys a specific time this weekend? Um, what about, um, can you do a Sunday at, like, 3? Oh, yeah, we have a perfect, that showtime is oh, wide open. Okay, I'll get you, we'll get you guys right in there. Yeah, no problem. And we'll get you in there for free since you guys paid for your tickets online. Oh, wow, for free, that's awesome. That's great service. Hmm, great service indeed, huh? That's great service. That's definitely a perfect score. Yeah, very perfect score. I mean, there could have been some other thing they could have done, but it's, a, it's perfect. I'm sorry, guys, but we can't have you, uh, try it. We can't let you win these tickets. Um, is there another day you can get scheduled for? Um, well, we, we can't really do any other day. We're all free this week. Um, if you give us a phone call, whenever your time off, we'll, we'll let you in for free. Oh, great. That's awesome. Free? Why are you letting in for free? We don't have that option. Then why did you tell us that if you wanted to let us in for free? I didn't know. I thought we did tell you in for free. Would that be nice common courtesy? Oh, goodness gracious. We're going to lose. We are not going to lose. Um, excuse me, guys. Um, we were, I was wondering if we could reserve a whole movie theater for the showing at if for 3 o'clock. Because, um, I have a summer camp that I'm kind of running, even though I don't really want to run it. Well, unfortunately, we have some seats already taken for that show. What? You have show times taken for that show already? You gotta be kidding me. And I have no other time to do this for summer camp, and you, you, somebody's already taken the seats. Braxton, what are you doing here? What's for summer camp? You don't want a summer camp. Yes, I do want a summer camp. But you need to stop. You need to stop. You're going to lose points. I don't care. He does not want a summer camp. He just wants to have the whole theater to himself. There's no way he wants to run a summer camp. Yeah, I want to run a summer camp. That's what I'm doing. I'm like you are just sitting around doing nothing. Next year, I'm not doing nothing. I am running a... I'm probably running a movie theater here. You're not running anything really far, are you? Actually, I don't have any legs to run either, so you don't either. You 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 just sit on your butt and watch Charlie and Friends all day. Now, now that, that that's just terrible service, Chef BB. I don't care. I'm the one cooking. <sighs> well, I'm never coming here again. So much for summer camp. Come on, kids. What? What's everybody staring at me for? Uh, he, it's his problem. You just cost us the challenge, probably, Chef BB. I did not cost you anything. I don't even know what you're saying, and I disagree with you. Oh, no, that's, um, that's not good. It didn't look too good for that team. No, they lost a lot of points for that one. Oh, yeah, they definitely lost some points for the negativity against the customers, even if they already know them. Oh, excuse me, um, we'd like to try to reserve the entire showing of the If movie with, um, uh, my friend, my kids here, and, uh, we have some family members that we're going to be taking a whole movie. Is there a way we can do that? Um, unfortunately, if we have some seats taken for that showtime. What? You have seats already taken for that showtime, so we can't reserve the whole theater? Unfortunately, not that one, but we have other showtimes. But this is my only time. I can go out to the movies and take everybody with me. How am I supposed to take them with... They're not going to be able to be together that much for the summer, all right? So we need to... Okay, I understand, but here's what we can do, Okay. We can get, get we'll schedule you for the next we can get schedule for the next day or whatever time you have off, just give us a call and we'll try to schedule you in, alright? Alright. Alright, I guess that will work. Come on guys, let's go. Well, that actually went a little better than I expected that would go. Yeah, that definitely could have been a whole other different ways. 
All right, teams, our lovely panelists have made their final decisions on who has won this challenge. All right, I'm going to speak for everybody uh, when I say that I think both teams definitely had a little bit of struggles because working with customers is a pain in the neck. But I will say that the, first, the second team over here did a really good job handling customer service, and I think they're the winners of this challenge. But you, this team really needs to work on their customer service and appreciation, especially that little chef over there. Okay, and team two is the winner of this challenge. You guys have won immunity and you are safe from the vote. Thank goodness. Oh, that challenge was so nerve-wracking. I told you I got it. I told you Grover, my furry old Grover got everything in the bag. Yeah, he does say that now. I think he's full of himself. Oh, sorry for that. Uh, team one, you guys are being sent home to tribal council. I apologize. You guys really should work a little bit more on your people skills. Hey Marvin. Yes, Chef PB? I wanted to talk to you about something before we vote tonight. Okay. I have had a painful decision to make. What do you mean? I'm... I'm not going to be playing this game anymore. What? Now, now hold on. I, I just don't like it. You don't? What do you mean? Well, I, I'm a chef. I should be cooking and stuff, you know? I shouldn't be playing this game and, and winning this money. It's not worth it. I should be a chef. And, and Brax, I apologize to Braxton. Uh, Braxton's willing to pay me money, which, that's surprising. Yes, it is. He's willing to pay me money. He's, he's willing to help me take, take care of the kids. And that's what I like instead, helping the people instead. I can't play this game, but between you and I, I found a hidden media idol. What? Shh. Yeah. You found it in Media Idol? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I can't. Huh. It is a key. You sure it's a... Oh my goodness, it is. And you're just gonna give it to me? Yes, Marvin. I'm gonna give it to you. You're my friend. You deserve it more than I do. You'll go farther in the game than I will. I'm just gonna talk to Mr. Wilbur about forfeiting. Why... I respect your decision, though, if you're going to forfeit. Thank you, Marvin. I knew you'd understand. I'm going to talk to Wilbur about quitting the game, but I'm not going to quit my job. You'll still see me around, my friend. We're best buddies. Yep. I'll see you around. Yep. I'll see you around. I'll use this immunity out of wisely, too. That'll make me a threat. Well, contestants, um, there is no tribal for you guys tonight. What do you mean? Well, uh, Chef Peepee just informed me that he doesn't want to play the game anymore. He quit. He quit? We were going to vote him out anyways, though. Oh, well, that settles that. And that settles that, then. You guys are free to go. Uh, I'm sorry to waste your time about that. Uh, I hope you guys will get better at the games as they go along and continue to work as a team as well. So that concludes this very interesting episode of Plus Central Survivor Cinema Showdown. And next time on the show, there will be a double elimination on the show where one member from each team will be sent packing, and then on to the fantastic part of the show, the merge. Please stay tuned to find out what happens as this excitement of Plus Survivor Cinema Showdown continues!